Hello everybody, this is Peter the Rock, it's still Saturday the 17th of June and I'm still in Carpenter's Wood but you'll be pleased to know that I've managed to negotiate my way through it. I don't know why but the paths are a bit more obvious than they used to be, maybe they're well trodden. Certainly they were a lot of boggy bits but it's the ground's been rock hard for weeks now and uh, I wasn't beset by the boggy bits problem. There are a few arches here where they don't like horses going underneath them. This sign, I don't know if you can see that, says no horses. And there are obvious signs in the path of horses being here. So there's another view of the wood. I'll hold it a bit longer this time and we can see where we are, we're at the bottom corner of the wood. It's at 90 degrees to the to the version at the other end of the wood. If you're confused, permissive horse riding tra uh, trail and public bridleway. Never seen any horses here, but there's no reason why I shouldn't. Ah, here's a sign, a sign uh, thing. Chorleywood Public Footpath, Barrel Arch to Blackett's Wood Drive, three quarters of a mile. Sounds enticing, doesn't it? Public Footpath B2 Barrett Arch to Whitelands Avenue. Oh, that's where I've just come from, but Whitelands Avenue. I want to play tribute to uh, Jeff Marshall here because um, I only found out yesterday by chance because I, I, uh, YouTube prompts me to watch some of his videos, mainly because I've watched quite a few of them already. And uh, I only found out yesterday that in fact at Harrow, there is now step-free access. What that means is that you can go from the street level, I think, onto any platform um, without going up and down steps. It's very handy for the wheelchair users. And in the past, I confess to being a bit lazy, not wanting to go up and down loads of stairs and would go on a bit to Norfolk Park where I just have to walk across the platform. So now I can be even lazier and get off at Harrow, go up and down a lift. Anyway, we are about to go underneath the train, the railway. I was gonna say the underground, but it is the underground. Not only is it an underground, it's also a Chiltern line. And trains are every half hour out to Aylesbury and I'm quite impressed with the dimensions of this arch. Completely different to the arch across the Grand Union Canal I showed you because it's much higher and doesn't need to be so wide. No canal going underneath. So that's the reason I think somebody in the comments suggested the canal arch has three centres. I would suggest that this one possibly has two but I don't know. I haven't had any mathematicians writing in about inverted catenaries. Anyway, this is uh, quite an attractive arch, mainly because there's not a lot of uh, graffiti, not any really, a few notes. Um, but if, if there's a sudden downpour, this is the place to be. The great thing about it is it comes out on a fairly, uh, fairly important walk in this part of, um, I think we're in Buckinghamshire, uh, which leads up to a, a little village called Cheney's, which um, hardly anybody's ever been to, but which I am going to now. So there we are, a little backward look at the arch and the wood, Carpenter's Wood. Don't know why it's called that. I imagine it wasn't because of the singers, Karen Carpenter, I should think the wood has been here longer than she was about. You can go up this path. Oh, there used to be a stile here. And uh, go very close to the, the railway. Uh, perhaps as far as Chalfont and Latimer, which is the next station to the west, which I've done. And uh, I think there's the little bridge in about a mile. And I, I did actually wave to a driver from that bridge once and he did wave back which is very gratifying 
So there we are. It doesn't intrude on the uh, environment at all, that little tunnel. Um, there's a field of grass, it looks like. And there is a very infamous boggy bit, which is completely dried out. So pack up your troubles in your old kit bag and your boggy bits will dry out as they didn't sing in World War I. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm not going to ramble on, well, to you anyway. Uh, and um, I appreciate you watching and there'll be another video soon.